Hello, guys. Here's how to survive Grumble indoors, even if you can't find a bed or closet. Let's dive into the tips. Listen closely for the rumble. Grumble is always preceded by a deep, eerie rumbling sound. As soon as you hear it, stop moving and listen carefully to determine the direction Grumble is coming from. Audio cues are your best defense here. Freeze. Immediately. Once you hear Grumble, your first reaction should be to stop moving. Grumble is very sensitive to movement and sound, so standing still can save you from detection. Turn off light sources. If you have a flashlight or lighter on, turn it off as soon as you hear the rumble. Grumble is attracted to light, so staying in the dark makes it harder for it to spot you. Reposition quietly if needed. If you think you're directly in Grumble's path, you can slowly move to the side, but do it quietly. Avoid running or making any loud noises. Walk slowly and only when necessary to avoid detection. Avoid tight spaces. Without a hiding spot, avoid getting trapped in small rooms or corners. Try to stay in areas with more room so you can maneuver away if needed. Use cover for safety. Even if you don't have closets or beds, try to find environmental cover, like pillars, large furniture, or even dark corners. Position yourself behind objects that can obscure Grumble's view of you. Use items like vitamins for quick escapes. If you're about to be caught and have no other options, use vitamins to boost your speed. This can help you quickly run to a safer area or avoid a close encounter. Just be cautious not to sprint directly into Grumble. Wait for Grumble to pass. Be patient. Once the rumbling fades and you don't hear it anymore, Grumble has likely moved on. But don't rush out too soon. Make sure it's completely safe.